Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Reaper's Cradle. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how I made these. These are passy clips and by using macrame knots, I like to call them my boho accessories. This is one I've made for Merdina. And also where I bought these supplies from. And this one here is made out of yarn. And I gifted a whole bunch away already, but these are some of the ones that I have. I want to show you this one today. It's the most simplest one with jute. And I have, you can use any kind of beads. And this is what I've been including in my, like, I was thinking of selling these, but <laughs> I'm, I have no idea how much, like, you know, so I've been gifting them. And from now on, when I send happy mail and cards and letters, I will be adding this. And this is my back. And I will sign them. And I also have this I hole punched to, like, I'm pretty sure I have a picture of it, but whatever I add, I'll add it like a tag. And I also bought, um, here's a, you know what, I need a spot for all of these. I bought a whole bunch of these kind of, of bags to put them in so all of these are mostly from the dollar store well it's not really a true dollar our dollar store is called the northern lights and these are the alphabet beads they're wooden butter beads um well there's a size 10 millimeters um, I bought these. These are mitten clips. Um, and you can cut glue on any accessory to make these nicer. But these are basic mitten clips from Amazon. Um, these wooden rings are from Amazon. All of these beads that I have are from the dollar store. Both the colored and these kind. For me, they come in different sizes. I only have one left. I found. I have one more of these. These are from Amazon. Years ago. Um, oh, and look. I bought these from AliExpress. Not the circle ones, but these ones. Aren't they cute? So... Like, I made this one, too. I thought this kind would look cute on one of these. But I will teach you, is this kind of, is really super easy. So they came in a three-pack. I have a whole bunch of these. Now, for the little ones, I thought, I started making, like, these kind of. I tried it first and this it's too skinny so then I doubled it and it looks a lot better and I did make a jute one but I gifted it so anyways I'm here to show you how oh and look I made these two using the bigger ring and you will hear my heat go on I'm from northern Canada it's pure winter here show you quickly how much snow <laughs> and is very cold outside okay so I will move this stuff okay so first I'll grab mm. 
Now I like these mitten clips because you can hot glue gun on like wooden accessories or like foam, those foam things. You can make them put a flower on here, but anything, you can hot glue any kind of deco. Ooh, I'm having a coughing fit. <laughs> I've been sick um, not too long ago and it's still lingering okay so what I want to do is I will take an arm's length of this so I know you can't see me stretch my arms out I'm not sure how long this is hi I'm doing a video so, and then in half is about, I don't even know how long, but it's an arm's length, like from arm to arm when I stretch them out. So I want two of these. Okay, so now I have my two, and I'm going to make them as close as I can to the same length. So here they are. I've been trying this so many different ways to show you, and it's just so hard. I wish you were here in person. Okay, I'm going to start, so these are two pieces, here's one piece, and let's see, I actually, I do have a cloth, one of these, so. let's see how long so I have two pieces of jute <clears throat> starting at one now it doesn't have to be exactly but this is how long mine is just 60 inches long so oops sorry see <laughs> so hard so when I double it I'm just going to double it. So now this piece from here to the end is 30 inches. And I have two of them. Now the middle one doesn't have to be that long. But so I have my two pieces of string in half. I'm going to put them together. And this is how I do a luggage check in case, and it doesn't help them <clears throat> coughing like crazy. I have a lot of phlegm. So here's my mitten. Here's my two pieces looped, and here's the ends. They're not perfectly lined up, but it's okay because they'll be cutting some off. The top faces down. And put these through like this. I hold I have my thumb in there and my finger in here. I'm gonna go over and grab these two and pull it through and then I will have this. And now I'm ready to start the macrame. So I have four pieces. <clears throat> now, in the beginning, this is just on the edge of my couch. I hope you could see 
Um, <clears throat> so I lay them nice and flat. I'm gonna put the ends out like this in my middle, nice and straight, like this. Now I'm gonna take my left piece, my left outer piece, I'm gonna make like a four over the middle. Like that. And then I take my right outer piece and I go on top of that four that I just made. See? This piece is on top. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is full of phlegm. <clears throat> but I'm going to go under the hole like that four. <clears throat> It's kind of hard to do it slow too, but I'm going to go under that four and behind the middle and I'm going to pull it up through that loop. So then when I gently pull on it, This is the first time I've been working with them. Um, <clears throat> this kind of, but this is my first knot like this. It'll look like this. It's going to look funny in the beginning. So I started with the right hand. Now I'm going to do, I mean, I started with the, the left side, I'm going to go the opposite and do the right. So I'm going to make a backwards four over the middle, over the two middle. Hold it in place. The left outer edge <clears throat> over all of it. I'm going to go under the back two and up through this hoop. So like I said in the very beginning with all this long, long string, it's going to be a little, like, awkward. And then I gently pull it. So it's starting to look like that. And then I do the opposite again. So left, right, left, right, left, right. So it's a left-hand turn. I make that four over everything. And when I put it over the two middle, I make sure that these two middle are nice beside each other. They're not twisted or anything like that. And then I take my right over everything, but I put it in between, like over that four and under the two. And then I pull it through this hoop. And then I gently and I don't want anything too too tight. And now I do the right side. Backwards four. Make sure that my two middle are nice and nice beside each other. Now, see how it's starting to come? So now I did the left, now I do. I hope you can see that. <clears throat> so I always make sure my middle two are nice and beside each other. Now it's the turn to make this four. So I go over the middle, take the left hand side over, but then I put it over the four but under the two middle, up through that hoop. And then I just make sure I gently pull until I get it. 
lined up. Oh my goodness, I hope. <clears throat> it's hard to keep the straight and it's hard because I'm I'm stretching over. Let's see. <clears throat> so now it's the right hand. Make that four. Go over. I normally I like to think, see this hoop? I go under here and I'm gonna grab it. And pull it through. And make sure. Yeah, I must say it's easier working on the other mitten clips on those because it has a smaller piece right here. <clears throat> oh, wait, I just did that one. Now, adding beads... I kind of just, um, think of where I want them. I don't really count my knots. I just use my eyes. Yeah, this thing, this thing is awkward. I must say it's the first time I used this kind of main clip. <clears throat> oh my goodness, my throat. Do the four under and over it like that. I hope I explained that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> As, oh, I might be confusing too. Okay, now that I'm making somewhat of a line here, I'll try. Now it's easier to control. So I have my two middle. I make sure that they are nice. I wonder if, let's see if, if I can get closer. <clears throat> so I make sure that these two turn are nice and flat beside each other. They're not they're not twisting like anything. They're just nice and flat. So I take the outer, I go over everything and make a four. Make sure my string's not getting twisty. The right side, I go over that four, but under right here. And then up through this side. <clears throat> and then gently pull. And then I do the same for the right side. So I make sure that my middle is nice. I make that four over. Grab my left side. Go over my four, but under the middle. So like I said, I go through this loop and I'm going to grab it and pull it through. <clears throat> I don't want it too tight. There, you see it coming together. Now, if I want to add beads, I'm going to add the beads through these two middle pieces. 
Normally what I do is I cut these even and then wrap it with tape. So I'll do that. Oops. Oh my goodness. This camera work is not the best. I'm so sorry. So my middle. I'm going to go down and cut these two straight. Like actually, I like it at a tiny like angle like that. Kind of like a needle. And I take my tape. I don't want it too too thick. So be able to trim this tape off and I'm going to cut that again like a shoelace okay <clears throat> so here's my end and I'm going to thread a bead through that now here's some beads that I have and I have lots of these purple squares, so I'll just use. So here's my bead, my wooden bead, and I believe they said, I'm not even sure what size, <laughs> sorry, it's about this size, I don't know, bigger than a pea. Run it through. When I pull it up, make sure that the the string is still nice and beside each other, not raveled. And then I go around it. I do the same thing before, but just around the bead. And I gently pull so that, see how the, you don't want the string all, you want it up beside the bead. It takes practice because um, it took me a while to do, I made a whole bunch of these before I decided to do a tutorial. See? And then like this. And I'm going to do one more just to secure that. So here's my four. Making sure that these two are nice and flat. Four goes over. Take the opposite side. Over. But I want it, when I pull it through, it's going to go under here like all like that <laughs> it's hard to explain and then, because if I wanted to put a name on this is when I would start adding the letter beads there and now I'll just keep going Do the four. And I don't want it too tight. And I do the opposite side of backwards four. This way so you can see good so I make like a four over the middle I'm gonna hold it in place with my thumb the right side goes over that four but under to go underneath the middle and then up through that hoop 
I'm pretty sure they call it a square knot. I'm just going to keep going. But yeah, you could do this with yarn, you could do this with that cotton cord that I had, any kind of string really. <clears throat> See how it's coming? So right, left, right, left, right, left. Um, to make that other project I made, the 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 rattle um that one I make it instead of going opposite ways I make the four all in one way so it's gonna naturally twist on itself and that's a whole different oh wait yep the only thing about this is trying to remember which side you did like left right left right you have to keep track uh. make sure the middle is nice and straight you pull on it gently so I think just by eyeing it I'll do <clears throat> Excuse me, another couple anyway. And as you're getting near the bottom of your project, it definitely seems easier because there's less string to try and control. Okay, maybe we'll do one more and then I'll add <clears throat> another bead. Or, let's see, see about, like, from here, or maybe another more. Another two more, maybe. Not fun getting very cold. Yeah, that looks about. It looks like I. I don't know why it looks kind of messy up here. It looks better down here. Maybe it's just f the string starting to fray. But that's how it looks more natural, right? Okay, I'm going to grab another one. I'll just choose to do the same color. But you can make patterns. So here's that end again. Just put it through. Take that four. The tricky part is always over these beads because you don't want to pull too tight, but you don't you want to keep it looking nice and straight too, right?
and I'm getting close to the end of my string here. See, it doesn't have to be, like what did I say, 60 inches. It could be longer. It could be shorter. It doesn't have to be. It's all experiment because depending on what you're trying to do, right? Okay, so it's getting near the end. This is all. My ends are getting shorter and shorter, and the middle is still quite long, which is fine. Um, maybe I'll do. Oh, yeah, but I do want an end, right? So, the way that I end it. So, here's my last knot, the same old, same old, the four. Now, I'm deciding to end it. So, I'm going to take my middle. And I'm going to just tie a regular shoe, like a shoe knot or whatever, not, not even a knot, whatever. <laughs> like tying a shoe. And then I do the same with this. Now, the way I end it is totally not professional. I don't know. All I want to do is to make sure that the ends are going to stay put. So I kind of pull on it, and then what I do is I look at it. Like, see how this piece, these two are sticking up? I don't like that, but I'm going to tie it Oh wait. Um, before I do, I'm going to have to cut this off, so I'll cut maybe... See how these end? I'm going to cut another, like, double. I don't need that. I don't need this anymore. I need it loose now. I need all these four pieces loose. These two are sticking up. I don't like that. I'm going to just tie them like a shoe. Just like that, pulling on it tight. And then see, and then I just look at it and see this piece is sticking up. I'm going to turn it around and maybe I'll tie it to this piece to try and get it to stay in, like not stick out so much. And that's all I do is I just, and like I said, it's probably not even the proper way. But I look at it, and these two are ugly, and they're, like, sticking straight out. So, um, but maybe I'll tie these two first. I just decide what I want to tie to try and make, like, the string, like, look like it can go down. If that, that totally does not make sense. So, it's starting to look, see how it's starting to lay down on itself, starting to look nicer? But, I might want this piece to go around and do the back here, because I really just don't want it to undo. Because I am going to cut those pieces off and I don't want it to untie on itself so maybe I'll do another like behind and then in front these two pieces I'm going to cut off because they're the two that are sticking out the most Okay, so see how they're totally like sticking? Didn't cut that off. There's lots of knots 
in there already. So then I have left is a tail, which is what I will use for a pacifier. Now, so I have, let's see if I can raise you up so you can see better. I'll be back. Okay, so here's my... And then these two is my long tail. I want to make a knot. But how I do that is like I'm tying up a balloon. Take my two. Make sure it's nice and short. And then I just put a knot right. No, I'm going to make it. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Tight this way. Tight this way and then I cut these ends off so then I have left is this and that's where I'll put my passy and there is my clip so I hope you enjoyed it I hope it wasn't too confusing if you want me to show you how I do the rattles, because it's a different knot than the square knot. I'm not sure what kind of knot is called the twisty knot. <laughs> I don't know. I just, but anyways, um, the rabbit ears that I do is using this square knot. And then what I do is the, it's actually like the ring and then two of these long ones. And then I just time together like this to make rabbit ears so but anyways guys hope that you enjoyed it hopefully it wasn't too confusing and um if you want to see more projects please like more macrame projects i do please leave a comment down below and i will make one soon for you guys have a great sunday thank you so much for being here and until next time guys bye my chat guys bye